Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more the Alchemist Code. So Siegfried is here along with the new blacksmith class, little job, which is this guy, which I don't know much about, so yeah, we're not going to talk too much about him, but there is a new job out, and he is blacksmith as his first job, and then there is Siegfried, who pretty sure he's our first light holy brawler. I'm pretty sure. And his Holy Brawler is his second class, and his first class is called the Wanderer, I believe. But it's basically just um, Twin Swordsman, just re just pretty much reskinned. But he is actually pretty powerful from what it seems. Um, I'm not going to summon for this banner. I think I'm good. It's not really worth my time to go back and farm some more gems but the weird thing is that his multiplay quest was just pretty much do normal missions I didn't expect them to do that but now I already pretty much have those out of the way I uh, I was just naturally farming just pretty much trying to get all of my um, equipment for Masamune which I fully grind for this this last three days so pretty much for my last three streams i was pretty much grinding in multiplay and let's say it took like the first stream was just like four hours the second stream was four hours and the last stream was like three hours and a half so yeah it took me like 11 hours and a half just to get this character and when I think about it, they really need to stop forcing people into multiplay because I know a lot of people really dislike multiplay. And let's get into this because his story is going to be pretty long because it's 10 stages. But yeah, I I hate multiplay, to be honest. <laughs> I don't like playing with others. I would rather them just have the whole separated thing to where there's an option to single play and there's an option to multiplay. I'm sorry, I just don't like it. But his... Oh yeah, before we get into it, his equipment is actually very strong from what I think it does. It's all the way down here, right? Yeah, here it is. So it seems like he has a chance to use one of these stats off his equipment so yeah that seems pretty strong to me so you have a chance of getting one of these random effects and it's pretty much like a 36 chance with all these stats uh two four six, yeah 36 chance and that's actually really good. So I might actually be far trying to farm for his equipment. Because this is actually really good. But first we got to see how difficult his stages are. Which probably could be like somewhat difficult. So let's go ahead and do it. Enough wasting time in talking about other things. Let's get into it. Uh, that was my Cars event team, which I'm still doing because I was distracted with Masamune before it disappeared. I guess we'll bring a Gilgamesh. Does it actually have story? They were talking about it. And it does. Seems like the story's going to go by pretty fast. Because normally they try to milk it as long as they can. But this is a so-called original story also, so should be interesting. Okay, why is auto on? Can I? No, I can't. Well, I can do this then.
Yeah, that's what I wanted. I did finish Ultima's weapons, by the way. I'm not sure if I've talked about that in one of my videos. But Ultima's weapon is completely maxed out. It's actually really nice that they finally did the whole multiple character thing. The multiple character thing for um, supports or helpers. Because each time I log on, I have like a whole bunch of Zinni that comes in, which is actually really nice. I'm happy they made that change. I'm sorry, my words are kind of all over the place right now. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go into the next one. Alright. Guess like there's one little story per mission. I don't think we really need Gilgamesh then. Or any other character. A lot of wolves. So are we going back to the start of the game at this point? <laughs> Going back to the basics of just fighting normal wolves. Right now I still outspeed everything pretty much. Really need to do that anyway. There we go. Stage two is done. So this is pretty much more of a normal lenient quest. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be too difficult, depending on where you are in the game. All right, stage a three. Let's go in. Oh no, just lizard men again. Normally when they when they say thieves, it normally turns out just to be lizard men. Oh no, Ultima's up here. That's annoying. I have noticed that the game has gotten way harsher on elements. Like, you need certain elements, elements to do this, that. It's, like, really annoying. Yep, right there. Like, even, like, easy stages have this now. To where you just basically do no damage at all. Which is insane. This thing is level 10. Level 10, and he's resisting a level... 66 by that much like what are they doing that's so annoying but then again okay it just makes the game way more difficult I I don't understand but okay. alright I guess we'll just go with it I guess I would just quicken myself then. Because when people say that the resist is quite, like, it's pretty much harsher than the Japanese version. That's at least what people who came in my stream and said. But then again, what? Okay. Huh? Hold on. What is their magic resist then? These, it must be high as hell.
Oh no, their magic resist isn't even high. They're just for some reason taking less damage from like magic elements attack. I'm so confused. I'm actually confused. Hopefully somebody can explain that to me. I don't know. I think I shouldn't question it anymore. This game is weird. All right, state four. Here we go. I'm so questioning the whole resist thing in this game. Oh, we finally get to see the ice wolf. It was now the savage wolf. I don't know. Okay, well then. <laughs> I think I'm going to... Drain this side. Oh, never mind. I can't drain anything. I'm actually pretty happy that you're down here. <laughs> that saves me the trouble. Too bad you can't reach over here, though. Which I wish you could hit, like. All these guys. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Those are out of the way. Now we gotta go get this chest. I know we don't need it, but still. There's no point of us using skills, especially if we could just one-shot him. So once I'm done with Karis, I'm gonna... Well, Karis. Is it Karis or Karis? Karis would have an E in it, right? So, Karis. Oh, don't use skills? Whoops. <laughs> well then, too late. But, yeah, once I'm finished with her and her job plus, I think I should be good for a while. Oh! Jesus, there's a lot of you guys here. What was, um, missions? Only use up to max of five skills. I can do that. Ultima's on that side. He'll be better going off this side, then. I'd rather take out the archers. So I wonder if the enemies are still really smart here. Because like I've said, these enemies have gotten a lot smarter to the point where they're just like moving out of the way of certain attacks. So I want to see if the same thing applies here. They even get the turn that is. Seems the out seems the archers out speed the spearmen, which is weird. Hmm. But that sucks. If that's the case, then I'll take out the one that's further to the back. Just so I could fight this one. Yeah, never mind. They don't get the turn. <laughs> we outspeed them by too much. 
Oh, and then he instantly gets his turn back, too. Another reason why I like Ultima is just because of his agility. I think he's pretty much the fastest, like, magic dealer we have. At least I think he's the fastest. Alright, stage six. And it's only been like 30 minutes. This is weird. I'm not used to this. <laughs> I'm not used to these events going by so fast. Okay, and no story. Okay. I'm okay with that. I don't think I've ever seen light lizards. Pretty sure that's due to me. Yeah, this is like pretty much a normal event. I don't want to end you, just because. Oh, I can't even end you. What? I can end him if I wanted to. At least not with um, Lucian. I get to reach right there. Okay, fine. Like. Look at that. I'm so... Oh, he's level 40. Well... That doesn't explain how this man is resisting everything. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. I wonder what happens if I focus. I'm pretty sure you're gonna attack. Well, you have to attack me. I'm your weakness. Okay, never mind. I try though. Huh? Um, water and we what the? Oh, okay, whatever. What ifs? I guess I should have hit you with that spell earlier. But all right. Hold on. There we go. Wait, apparently there's another. Oh. <laughs> I was like, where is this guy? Oh, that works too. That doesn't. I didn't even notice this dude. But we'll be fine. I swear, if they would have said, hey, don't use any freaking skills on this, I would have been like, you guys are insane. Well, you all need help. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, never mind, they were. You guys are insane. I'm not doing that. I'm not going back to do that. I'm good. I'm not even in that ne much of a need for apples. Oh, that's annoying. They're all spread it out. I don't know who I want to give the Wanderer's hat to, though that's kind of like a gray area <laughs> for myself. Oh, well, that helps. Thanks, game. I think I'll just use this instead. Alright, so which one's the wolves? Uh, I guess I'll drain right here. 
just to take out the wolves turn oh never mind they're both fire and okay, I hate that so much how much you guys make changes not that that's a bad thing though go right here thank you I should get ready to fight you now. Oh, yeah. You do a decent amount of damage. I was not expecting that. Can I reach you from here? Oh, I actually can. I don't know why you try to put it on Lucian, though. No, this way. This this way. Thank you. And Lucius' turn doesn't come up for a while, which is not very helpful. Hmm. Lucius in a way, too. Even though I could make him just accept a little bit of damage. Ah, oh, poison. Okay, stage so 7, done. Yeah, I'm not doing your whole no school, no skill thing until I see some, like, changes in that resist. Alright, stage 8. Let's go in. Ah. What level are these things? Alright then. I mean, the resist is what makes this stage, like, way harder. Where is he going? Ooh, we still gotta get that mouse up there anyway.
Oh. I'm pretty sure I was... Okay. Hold on. Okay, no, I was about to say... Pretty sure I was in, um... Focus. At least I thought I was. Nope, can't reach. That's the way. Come down here, thank you. There is perfectly fine. For sure, if that won't reach, this won't reach. Yeah. I just basically did that for no reason. Should be able to reach it from here now. No, not that. No, not that. Like we could do this and just not wait any turns. I wish there was a skip button for like master abilities though. I'm gonna have a lot of goat after this. Especially at the farming MP quest. And if I just move the camera over here, nope, not that way. There we go. That would be a lot better than just constantly turning the light up. Actually, it's way better that way, too. I really wish they would have made, like, animation scenes like they do for the story for some of these. I actually want to see Sig fight. Where is my ultima? Okay, my ultima is in the alright spot. Take out quite a few. No, find yourself first. Know the priorities. I don't like Mandrake, so I gotta get rid of them. They have too many debuffs. No, not that. Can I use... Okay. Alright, let's start collecting things. Huh? Is that wolf charging something? Okay, never mind. And after that, there will be one Mandrake left. Sorry, buddy, you're gonna have to take a hit.
Perfect. And now we have one more stage left. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll go back for that one. Alright, the only thing I have to worry about is items. Which I rarely ever use in these type of runs, so um, I'm good. So I'm guessing the ending of this is going to be like really long. Considering he wants to beat the uh, Divine Protector. Oh, you would start on this side. This is weird. And I don't like that wolf. Not really taking a lot of damage from that. Good thing we took out his agility, though. Wait, did he dodge that? I'm pretty sure that wolf dodged that. You little bastard. their turn it shall be fine well that one on our head not as fine as the others oh yep so yeah he did definitely dodge Ultima's attack which I do not like You'll be fine. Okay, I'm I'm hating this wolf. Like we're having a personal vendetta right here right now and it's annoying and it needs to stop. Oh, 50. Oh, jeez. Go behind him, please. Thank you. There we go. Now, if he was in the corner, that would be like really annoying. Go get this chest first. Oh well, never mind. He's in the way. I'm gonna block you in. All right, Ultima. I'm gonna need you to go right here, and. Finish this thing. Or not, never mind. You took too long. Alright, that's all of Sig's stuff. Now is this the extra dungeon that's coming up? Yep. 
Let's see. Without using the mercenary, only use up to 30 skills, no deaths. No promises on a no death part. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. I gotta play a little bit more safe. Ah, oh, Diablo and Demon. That is not good. Or at least I can watch out these. But the Savage Wool is kind of... Sorry, outspeeding everything. Especially this one. Oh, he's not going to do anything for a while? Okay. That's fine by uh, me. Oh, I should have brought in What's-Her-Face. She would have been great for this dude. Okay, I don't appreciate that you guys put her all by herself, though. That's one thing I definitely don't appreciate, so I, I have to figure out a different formation for her. So, uh, what I'm going to likely do is put Lucian on this side. Okay, they aren't doing anything for a while, apparently. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. Um, there's a fire. Great. It's a fire demon. It just had to be a fire demon. That's not fun. So, water and light units. Oh. Oh. They do a lot of damage, too. Okay, so... Oh. This is going to be annoying. Okay, let's try... This. No. Why would you aim over there? Over here. Thank you. Okay, that's not have bad damage. I think Ozma can be able to kill him next round. Okay, I think the Mandrake dodged. Are you kidding me? I don't need Mandrakes dodging my abilities. Alright, we're gonna put this on you. I have no idea what that does. I, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> the damage is like... Meh. They just try to make any way for her to be useless on this map, but... She's not fully use useless. Should be fine. So, all I need to do is start stopping units. That's gonna hurt. right here just in case what are you using oh okay you'll be fine I'm gonna stop you just in case
And if that's the case, we're gonna stop you too. Stop, dude. Jeez, never mind. Well, actually. Why not just bring Lufia in the first place? Because I'm pretty sure she's really strong here. Well, actually, against the fire units, she is. I'm not so sure about the light units. Okay, so let's do. Where is my dark? No, this. Yeah, let's take him out first. I'll finish him off. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I don't like this enemy at all. Because, <laughs> if I think about it, he's dodged mostly all of my attacks. He shouldn't be able to dodge this. Jeez. Oh, is that all he's going to do? Alright, that's fine by me. <laughs> Oh, death status. Isn't that great? That's fantastic to see. Yeah, it's going to be difficult making a team for this. With all the resist going around. So instead of switching out... Huh. That's going to be annoying. Can this remove that? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Good thing I farmed out of gear. <laughs> no regrets. And here comes the demon's turn just to ruin everything. He takes more damage. What to say? It's about time she got her like turn. Like, jeez. So here's what I want to try: the stone work. Yep. Petrifying is very effective against these units. Now I don't have to worry about that one anymore. Now I can take out this dude. So I have an easier approach. Hello, over here. Thank you. Gonna heal her just in case. So I found an alternative to deal with the wolves. That's nice. Nice try. You're not gonna kill Ultimate with that. So we have our jewel machine over here. That doesn't hurt me. <laughs> oh, that's actually annoying. Okay. I'm literally just trying to get over here, but you guys are making it more and more difficult. Take a little bit of HP back.
There we go. Perfect. So now we know we can just make jewel machines off the wolves. Okay, what am I doing? Let's not do that. Let's get our jewels. And that should kill. So Ultima is pretty decent for this event. Now later on I'm gonna see if I can find like a auto team. So I'm not sure if the Fia is always gonna use like stone. Oh, you can't stone this one. Okay, never mind. Big wolf. Can't be stoned. Okay. Be that way. I didn't care anyway, you know. Bunch of bullshit, man. Just add on to my suffering of trying to get rid of every enemy. I just noticed that. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Okay, why would you point that way? Yeah, Lavia is pretty de decent for this. I might replace... Lucian. Now we all need to focus on this guy and hope we can kill him before his turn comes back. Oh, he has a lot of HP. Oh, isn't that great to see? Oh, and I have still not much left on my jewels. Great. Hold on. Oh look, look who finally woke up. Yeah, no, go go back because you have a lot of HP I don't like. And even if you do come over here, I'm healing everybody. So, nice try. Ah, well, you're good. Get some more jewels. attempt to move or anything. I hate this enemy. Why'd they have to give him so much HP? I, I don't know. Alright, there's a little bit more damage. Dude, this has been thundering for the last past few days. Can you guys calm down? Please. Okay, stop trying to face that way. And for those of you new players that are thinking about getting to this game, once you're stoned, that's basically like having a unit dead. Unless you can remove the status. He's gone. So basically being paralyzed is just pretty much over. You can't do anything else. That unit is technically dead. But like I said, if you can remove the status, that, that means they're back. But in like an actual match, other than this, 
you automatically lose if it's your unit that's left paralyzed. So normally, let's say, well, pretty much we're just going to trap him mid. <laughs> but like I was saying, so normally the whole match would pretty much end if it's your unit that is left and is petrified. But in this game, for some reason, if a unit is petrified, it still makes you kill them. Well, I guess they don't want you to miss out on the reward of it, so yeah, you still gotta go through the process of killing. Which is not fun. But you know, I wish they would just give me the reward at the end, but alright. So I can pretty much status effect anything on this dude. Except for the wolf we were fighting against. Yeah, let's use fire. Fire is not going to hurt Ultima all that much. Unless I was to be a retard and do this instead. Alright, dude. I'm going to need you to be on... me actually I think we can finish him off without okay yep thanks for being in the way there we go so how many did we get from like this run I think it was actually a pretty decent amount yeah we used a lot of skills we got a death so yeah I already have like Okay, so it's, you get at least five. Well, I got at least five from it. But I already have like 55 dark shards, and I don't know a unit to use it on at the moment. Nor do I have one. But I was also. Switch these two, but replace this with you and. I was also thinking about replacing you with who? Hold up. Who was it? No, not you. I can't remember who I was going to replace you with. Darn it. Well, this doesn't help. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah, her. Considering she's good against demons, I'm not sure if I'll have a teammate who will bring one in, but, you know, I can only hope. But at least we did the run without the mercenary. Now we can just run it with the mercenary and have that extra damage. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. It's odd that the story just abruptly ended like that, though. I don't think there's any other story to it let's double check yeah nothing else so I guess there's gonna be another chapter of this maybe I don't know but the story basically abruptly ended which you guys will see in a few minutes after I collect all this Nice, 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 nice. Should I have six of these, right? Okay, so basically just do it 15 times. And you should probably get the equipment by then. But yeah, you guys should definitely be farming this because these are some good jewel rewards. Which I'm going to be farming the hell out of this. Or at least try to make like a auto team. Which is going to be really difficult considering 9 out of 10 they aren't smart and do the smart choices. Yeah, I think it's time to just turn off the video. Jesus Christ. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Jeez, Mother Nature, calm down.
But I will say, I will say this, Sig is definitely a powerful character. It's just that I'm waiting for the next collab. That's pretty much all that's going on there. I will say this, his swords look pretty sick inside the uh, equipment. I'm kind of curious of what his um, master ability looks like. Maybe I'll look that up since I'm not getting them. I wonder who he'll meet in this adventure, uh, other than monsters. Oh, it's the ice wolves. Okay, no, he's definitely not into that. I mean, it is a completely original story, so I wouldn't take, uh, I wouldn't take them to add in, like, any of the other, like, Alchemist Code World characters and put them in here. So we might see some new characters or new character portraits. They really need to sharpen the edges of these characters a little bit. I always see like the weird mistexture. Maybe that's just an emulator or do you guys see it inside of phones too? Let me know. Village of the Divine, huh? Ah, uh, well, that's a no. No, with a character like this, I thought he would be hunting, like, vampires or something. <laughs> I mean, he looks like a Bell Helsing, just, just saying. He really does. So that's gonna be really nice. His equipment... On the other hand, well, his gear, I don't really know that much about when it comes to difficulty. Especially since they have an extra dungeon, I'm pretty sure. Or it's either coming. You know, they like to wait off a little bit before they actually throw in the extra dungeon. But considering the quests are already here, I'm pretty sure they already added it in. Never seen this background before. Or at least I have not 
I do need to jump back on the story too. I haven't done the story in a while since Dia showed back up. Yeah, I'm curious about that too. And you just better hope they they're not like sacrificing people or anything. Oh, we already know this layout. You know, normally most places wouldn't even welcome, like, strangers or travelers. From what we've seen, that is. How do you really know if they come in peace, though? Ah, it just had to be hunters, huh? Maybe we'll see some new enemies. Or will it be the same little thieves with hoods on? fighting a giant wolf then okay I did not click anything that just automatically went by what the hell that'd be interesting fighting like a larger wolf but first I want to get this out of the way Actually, no, I probably want to fight for car stuff first, then do this, just because I'm pretty sure this is going to take a little while longer. Or is this a... I don't think there was a timer next to this, was there? I'm going to have to double check. Oh, okay. I'm curious who this divine detector is, too. Maybe he's like some kind of villain. I'm actually pretty curious now. Okay, yeah, it's 
13 days, so it would be smartest choice to farm this right now. So thank God there isn't really like a multiplay event going on for this dungeon. <laughs> I mean, all you get for the multiplayer rewards inside of the event that was up was 25 shards, but a lot of jewels too, which is nice. You know, you guys are talking a lot about the whole divine thing. I feel like you guys are trying to sell me something. Trying to convert me over. You no, know, lot, not a lot of people would just be so casual to let you near their protector and stuff like this. They wouldn't be like majorly host you know, show a lot of hospitality. I kinda question this. I I don't hmm. Maybe their world is different when it comes to like war going on and stuff like that. Probably the divine one. Oh yeah, we've never seen this character before, and he looks—he or she looks strange. Reminds me of, like Yu-Gi-Oh hair, <laughs> if anything. Okay, I hate the whole slow sliding thing. Normally you guys would just pop them up over there. Okay. This is like really weird that they're all so nice, but I guess it is a change in story from what we're used to the you know the whole destructions and characters dying left and right <laughs> it's just so odd all right stage seven. Oh, nighttime my first time seeing this map in like a night atmosphere
Oh, well then. Well, maybe they're getting smarter. Nah, they probably do have somebody, like, commanding them. Pretty sure we've already been down the story that had somebody commanding monsters. What, are you saying monsters are stupid? That's mean. Everything evolves and adapts. Okay, I've seen a lot of anime characters say that, and then all hell breaks loose. Yeah, we can protect ourselves. Alright, alright. I'll trust you, Nat. This one? Yeah, it's this one. I don't know what's up with this thing. Stage 9. See, they're a lot smarter than you thought. But then again, like I said, oh, well, never mind. I was going to say, then again, they could be under command of somebody. The true prize. Who said, oi, who could it be? I don't know, just a whole bunch of thieves. Oh, well then, okay. Calm down.
Oh, well, uh, yeah. Wow. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised because this is the exact same thing that was going on in, um, Balt's story, too. Kind of obvious, like strategy. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?